Hey, nice co-op stream. Do you know what would make that super awesome? If I could see your teammates on the stream at the same time. I noticed that a lot of people were playing online with their friends and having co-streams, but you couldn't see those teammates live in that one Twitch stream. So I decided to have a look at how we could make that happen. at Bexness and recently I've been streaming over on Twitch with cooperative stream so that is where I'm playing with a friend and you can see and hear them live on my stream. Once I did this quite a number of people asked me how did I do it? That's what we're going to look at today. Now this is actually way easier than you think it's gonna be so I'm pretty sure that most people can set this up. Chances are you're already using the tools that you need. I'm going to be using OBS and Discord. Specifically, we're going to be using the voice channel within Discord to do this. I figured it was best to use Discord in today's tutorial because I would imagine that's what most gamers are using and most streamers for sure. So hopefully that's what you're using too. But if you're not, you could actually use Zoom, Teams, Google Hangouts, you get the picture. Pretty much any online conferencing or meeting software will do the trick. Now if you're already thinking, I can't even get my own face onto my stream because I don't have a webcam, you'd be pleased to know that I've also done a tutorial on how to use your mobile phone as a webcam if you're streaming using a PC. So if you want to check that out, I'll drop a link in the description. So first things first, we need to head over to OBS. So if you're not familiar with OBS, do let me know down in the comments if you would like a full tutorial on getting started with OBS. I'm more than happy to put that together for you. But for now I'm going to assume that you're already familiar with the basics of creating scenes and sources. We're going to create a brand new scene. I'm going to go ahead and name that co-op streams and hit OK. It's given us a nice blank canvas to work with so we need to add our sources. The first source I'm going to add is the game. So for me I use window capture and I have one existing, let's choose Destiny 2. So you can see that's brought that in nicely for us. So the next thing we want to do is to go ahead and add to the first camera. So for me, I do that using scenes. Um, if you're not familiar with using embedded scenes to capture your camera, do let me know and I can make a tutorial on that one as well. <laughs> That'll go into the details of why I've done that. But when you're adding multiple cameras and you're wanting to crop in differently in different scenes, it's, it's really useful to do it that way. So I have one here called main cam and that's what I'm going to choose. And there we can see my camera. So we just need to make that a bit smaller because that's more like a just chatting kind of scene. So let's shrink that down a little bit. We'll pop me just here. Now to be honest, that's a little bit big and we've got a little bit of extra stuff around here that we don't really need to see. So a top tip for cropping this in, just hold Alt on your keyboard and grab one of the little squares and you can use that to crop in just nicely. I'll bring my mine in just a touch there um, and a little bit more. So if you're using an overlay, you can use this tool to just make sure that it fits perfectly to whichever overlay you have. So that's the easy bit done. Hopefully you're all really familiar with that already. So how do we go about getting maybe a second, a third or a fourth, or however many people you're playing with into here? So I'm just going to do adding a second person, but of course the same method will apply for adding as many people as you like. So this is where we have to head over to our online meeting software. I'm going to be using Discord because that's pretty much what all gamers seem to use. So it's probably the one that's most familiar to you as well. But you could use Zoom, Google Hangouts, whichever. What you'll need to do is open Discord and within there, just go to one of your chat channels. I can see there are two people connected. Now, Sosig here is my mobile phone just to enable me to grab my own camera for the purpose of this tutorial. But what we're looking to do is to use this as a new source and we can use that cropping method that we just looked at to make sure that we're only grabbing the camera area that we want. So let's go ahead and do that now. Back in OBS, we need to add a new source and this time we're going to choose window capture. I'm gonna do a new one. Let's call this Sausage Cam. 
So what we need to choose in here is which window are we grabbing? You can see I've got all kinds of stuff going on here, but in this case there is a discard and that's the one that we need to choose. So if you were using Zoom, for example, you'd need to choose the Zoom window. There we go, we can see we've now got our window coming through there, infinitely looping. Don't need to worry too much about changing these. I always tend to put them to window title must match, just in case I load something else up. I, I don't know, it's just my preference, but you don't have to change that. Okay, so now that we're back over in OBS, we can see I have my camera showing in here. So now we can see that we've added our sausage cam sauce. So, so what I'm gonna try and do next is to use that same cropping tool that we used earlier, holding Alt on the keyboard, to just tidy this up and make sure that all we're seeing is sausage cam and in this case it's just an orange box. Click on here, hold alt, grab that little dot and bring it right in. So we've got our little sausage cam. Lovely. And once we've got all of that trimmed we can then just resize that if we need to. So let's pop it's around about it's a little bit bigger but we'll pop that one over there. So that would effectively be our second person on there. So you could actually do this for as many people as you could fit in your, say, Discord or Zoom or whatever software you're using to capture their video. What I've found as well is that the audio will pull through if you are capturing your desktop audio in one of your sources and there's no lag on there so it, it looks really sharp. So if we were to also be using an overlay here, let's see what that looks like. So in our sources, I'm going to go ahead and add one of my browser scenes and you can see I have a co-op overlay from when I was doing a co-op with Mr. Chuggy C. So what you can see within my overlay I added a second camera border just to make it look a little bit nicer. If you have a really clean stream, which I know most people do these days, you might not want to do that. But if you do have a nice little board there, you'll want to get these matched up. All we need to do is just make sure that we align these nicely. Remember, you can go ahead and use your alt to make any little tweaks that we may need on there. So that's looking pretty nice. I've fallen off there terribly, so let's put me back in. I've overshot on the cropping just a touch there. And that's it, we've now got our two cameras embedded. What I'll show you now is what that looks like actually on the live stream. You'll notice that we're both there, we're both nice and clear. You can see my gameplay as well as the reactions from Chuggy C. And you can also hear Chuggy C as well, which is exactly what you There's want. There's people here, red target to be honest. Oh, oh, a old Komodo. Ooh, Komodo's good. Now what I've found is that this is a much nicer experience for your viewers so they can see everybody who's playing in your party. I would 100% recommend giving this one a try. Please let me know down in the comments if you found this video useful. Are you going to give it a try? If you do, drop your Twitch link down in the comments and I would love to check it out. If you want to come hang out some more, be sure to check out my Twitch. I will pop the link down in the description. It would be really great to see you on there. We have lots and lots of fun. I stream every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. Do keep an eye on my schedule because it may have changed if you're watching this, say, two years into the future. I've also just started a brand new Discord and in that channel we're going to be talking about all kinds of things related to cameras, streaming and YouTube. So if that's your kind of thing, I'll put a link for that as well. It'd be really great to see you there. So a nice quick one today, that's all there is to it. All that's left to say is thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Motion tracker. Some kind of tracker. Oh god, this is a creepy bit. Creepy, creepy alien finder. Oh, God! <laughs> no, no problem. Robot! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Unnecessary!